Well, as you can probably tell, I'm back in the garage and today it's the turn of the Capri to receive some attention. I'm going to be trying to fix the scratched and faded centre console and the surround around the handbrake, which have become faded with age and being stuck in the sun and scratched because some burglars decided to attack it. Anyway, I'm going to try and paint it, which is not something I've ever done before, but I'm hoping it'll work and it'll make it look a lot better. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Now this centre console here, which as you can see is both sort of faded, grey, scratched and loose. Unfortunately it became very scratched when some burglars got into the car and decided that they'd try and steal the car by attacking the handbrake. Don't ask me why, but it's never quite looked the same since. This was a very long time ago I should mention. So I think I'm going to try and do something to improve that. I'm going to take it off, paint it and then hopefully put it back on and stop it wobbling. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hopefully it'll come out without putting up too much of a fight. So there's one screw and one washer in this side. The other one is missing. And that's loose and that. So hopefully, ah, oh, God, that comes off very easily. And it should just slide off. And I don't know how this button is held in. There was a clip under the switch, and here's another one. Well, I'm now very close to getting the main centre console out. I've got the clip off the switch on the bottom. I'm just going to try and get that one off, which is slightly more difficult because it's in an awkward place. Luckily, I can get in through the handbrake sort of surround. I need to sort of somehow lift the pins on either side over those two little lugs there. Um, but I managed to get the front part around the selector out and look at the quantity of leaves in here. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, there's some glass from when the burglars got in. They made a mess. Pests. So I'll have to hoover that out at some point. But now the main thing is to get this out so I can tidy it up a bit. I've just discovered the trick for how to get these clips off. There's a little groove alongside the lug here which you can just get a small screwdriver up into and you can use that to lever the clip itself out of it and hopefully I should be able to pull it off. Now I've come up with a better solution. You push the door mirror control switch up through the console itself and then you can get better access to these and you don't have to lie on your face all the time. So hopefully now... Screwdriver in there. The other one in there. Squeeze the two together. Please come off. It's closer. So tight. There we are, one multi-position door mirror switch. This needs cleaning out, so I'll take that back and give that a clean as well. Gosh, finally. Ugh. So now, the next time you see me, I will be getting these ready to be painted. Phew. All right, so I've got the bits of the car out here, and you can see just how deeply scratched they are. So to start with, I'm going to sand back the scratched bits and try and make them look a bit better before I paint it. And then I'll put some primer on, and then I'll put the top coat in. I'd better take the switch out, actually. Do that first. And the little surround for the handbrake. Now sanded down the scratches on both of them, and it's looking a lot better. Uh, all I'm going to do now is wash off the dust and also put a little bit of glue in this crack down here so that I can paint over it and it should look fine when it's finished. So I've now washed them both off and they're already looking an awful lot better than they were, so that's very good. And I've 
glued and clamped the little split that was on here. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to paint this one in primer and we can see how it looks. Well, while this has been drying, I've been cleaning some things. I've cleaned a little rubbery surround for the handbrake. Uh, I've also done the little coin holder and the door mirror control button and the headlamp switch. So they'll look much better when they go back on the car. So I will now examine my painting handiwork. Looking quite good, but I will give it another coat and then possibly sand it down and see how we can get it looking better before we put the top coat on. The gear selector surround has now dried in the undercoat and I've tested a can of grey monument paint uh, and you wouldn't actually know, it's such a good colour match. I did it on here and you cannot see it at all, so I'm very pleased with that and I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of it in that colour. While that dries, I've got the handbrake surround bit here and the glue should have set, so I'll remove the little clamp that I put on, hold it in place. Got that's very good, I'm very pleased with that. You can hardly see that there was ever a crack there. So hopefully if I sand that down, I may not even have to fill it up. I put this little bit of clear plastic in on the other side to brace it as well, and that's now set hard. Well, I'm a couple of coats further on now, and as you can see, the gear change surround is looking very nice. In fact, I've got the little ashtray cover out of the car, and the colour match is near identical, so I'm very pleased with that. You'd never know that this had been repainted. In other news, while I was painting it, I actually noticed on the bottom that it's got a date stamp and it shows that the car, or bits of it, were manufactured in June 1989, which confirms what we thought. So next I will go on to painting the handbrake console surround, and I've put a tiny little bit of super glue in the cracked area and rubbed it down and it's pretty smooth now so I'm satisfied with that. So I will go on and paint that with primer now. Well this is now dry as well and I'm pretty happy with the coverage with just the one coat so I'm now going to do it in the dark grey paint to match the rest of it. Here are the pieces, now all painted and looking much better than they were before. What a, what a difference. So, I haven't done the insides because I didn't think that was necessary. And I will now prepare the car by vacuuming out all those leaves and put them back in. So I've now evicted most of the leaves that have taken up residence in here and all the other mess with the help of the brush and dustpan. And I've got the newly painted bits of car interior. So I will start reassembling that with this bit. I'll put that in and put the screws in and then I can put the ashtray and cigarette lighter back in. Unfortunately, the clip on this side, which receives the screw, has come out. So I'm going to have to take it all off and put it back on again. and ashtray bulb goes in there that 
spring. That's what's used to hold it open or closed. It should just slot in there. There's another little tab on the other side which holds it in place. Actually, I should have put a spring in beforehand. I just need to put the small things like the handbrake gator and the little coin slot back in using the little clips that they had when they came off. So the centre console part slips between the two seats here and I will try and pull the cables out so I can still connect them to the switches. The headlamp switch first. Can't resist giving the gear selector a good polish with the wire wool. So there you have it. The newly painted interior is back in. The screws have been put in and the switches have been connected. In fact, let's just try the headlamps. Yes, the headlamps have now popped up as they should. So that's very good. I'm very pleased with that. I will take it for a celebratory drive to admire my handiwork. So that's about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little experiment of me painting the car's interior. And I must say, I think it looks as good as it did when Ital Design created it. So that's about it from me. Thank you very much for watching and ta-ta for now.